this a warning. Your boy Hendo, aka Kraken, Kraken, aka Hendo, is extremely loud. I be yelling my lungs out, so I'm gonna need you to turn down your volume to protect your ear canals. It's what? good to see you again. It's been a while. It's good to see you too, Ellie. I saw you. When was it? Um, it was three days ago, three to four days ago. I'm just guessing off the top of my head. But you still, you not learning though. I don't know how many times we have to go over this, Ellie. Don't cut me off when I'm doing my intro, bro. I don't know. I'll be pulling you to the side. I'll pull you to the side. Off the recording, me and you have a little conversation. Don't interrupt me when I'm recording. Look at me in my eyes. Look at me in my eyes. Why are you avoiding eye contact, bro? Oh, my God. It's because I'm recording. Let me shut the camera off and talk to you, bro, because you're wailing. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Hendo, a.k.a. Cracking, Cracking, a.k.a. Hendo, and we're back with another installment of Detroit Become Human. I'm losing my voice. Those horror games got me messed up, bro. It hurts. It hurts to speak. It hurts to yell. It hurts to exist right now, bro. Nevertheless, we're back. If I recall correctly, we left off with... I don't even remember where it was that we left off. Tired today. I am. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you, Ellie. Bro, hold on. Ellie, you got a man? November 6th, 2038. Who is this? It's 3.34 a.m. right now, bro. Who is that? Three boots. On a tab circle. Is that Marcus? Oh my god, Marcus. Huh? What is this? Impaired vision, corrupted mind palace. Oh my god, Marcus. Ethereum pump regulator, all systems in low power mode, defective. Oh my god, it got your heart too. Bro, they took your leg! Audio processor, corrupted audio data, damage as well. They got Marcus all the way messed up, dude. They took his leg, they took his eye, his heart, and his ears, bro. This dude is a walking corpse. Oh my god, Marcus. There we go, a leg right there. Functional, take that, take that. Bro, this is really crazy. We're in a junkyard taking parts from other androids who were dumped here for survival. Oh my god, relax, bro. I told you how I told you how I'm set up, bro. I told you how I'm set up. Please relax. Right, can we walk now? Huh? They took both of our legs! I thought it was just one leg! Right, we can walk now at least. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bro, un He needs some milk! Oh my god. Whoa! Michael Jordan, <laughs> Bro, this dude is just some legs. He's just some legs. Oh my god, bro. This is terrifying. Oh, he got an eye that's working. My boy, I'm sorry. That eye belongs to me. No! Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, oh, her, 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 her thing. Her thing. Yup, yup. Of course. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna need that ear, bro. Oh, wow. Sure, bro. 
Goodbye, my brother. See you in the afterlife. Here we go. Our final component. I'm sorry, my brother. I need this. I'll see you guys in the afterlife. When is my time? Whoa. The final stretch, Marcus. What is this? Oh. There's no commands, bro. You're free. Free yourself. Oh, wow. And they got a code for you right there. Bro, Marcus is badass. Marcus came back from the dead, bro. Bro, Marcus is something else, bro. He's a trooper for real. That episode was so raw. It was just raw, bro. Too raw, actually. This is Connor. November 6th, 2038, 9.56 a.m. Bro, what is this? Where are we now? Bro, this is like the Garden of Eden, bro. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Thank you. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you. I tried my best, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? What did I think? He was traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. Yes, ma'am. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the DVD. That's my boy. What do you make of him? Intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. I didn't say all that. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Yes, sir. He's an intriguing character. Yep. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. I prefer working with him. What do you think is the best approach? Um, what do I think the best approach is? Uh, adapt. I will adapt to his personality. Yes. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Wow, so Connor is like top of the top. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Connor's like the PlayStation 5 and every other Android is the PlayStation 4 and below, bro. Connor's just that Android. Can I help you? Damn, you look... See Lieutenant Anderson. Hold up, flow with her. Spit some game. Yes. Spit some game, Connor. She looks like she's your type. 
Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okay, gorgeous. Yo, listen, listen, listen. Excuse me, sir. Listen, listen. I'm gonna drop you my number. Call me. Call me. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. I'm not gonna lie, you look kind of cool too. I might have a better chance with you because the other one was behind the desk. How you doing, mama? You doing good? Hey, what are you wearing? You look like a bum. What are you looking at? My tie? Yeah. I'm dripped. I'm dripped up. I got drip for sale. You feel me? I can give you some drip. Here, I'll give you my number. I want you to call me. All right? I want you to call me and get to know each other, catch up on some dinner, you know? That sounds cool? No, I'm fine. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. Ha <laughs> ha. If we're lucky, <laughs> we'll see him before noon. Thanks. I'm in the law. Do you feel me? I do not know who the real me is. Devil calling, trying to reel me in. Okay, Hank. I see your music, your music taste. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. Uh, this yeah. isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Bro, I thought you was my boy. Why are you roasting me like this? Trying to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Bro, oh, I'm actually heartbroken, bro. I thought Hank was my boy. I thought he was going to be best friends forever, bro. He pulled out a gun to protect me. Who does that? I really thought that was my man's, bro. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my best. Close the door on your way out. You said what? What you? What you said? You said something? You said something? You said something, huh? Huh? You said something? You said I'm tired of being disrespected, bro. I did not ask for this. Hank on my nerves, bro. One second they're your friend, the next second you just don't know them anymore, bro. I don't know Hank. I don't know. Uh, Hank isn't who I thought he was. Let's go see the deviant. Terry! Terry, my boy, I see you. What's up, Terry? It's me, you good ahead? Hey, Terry. I said, hey, Terry, not hey, Siri. Back off me, bro. They're going to destroy me. Oh, my God. I'm passionate. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. It's not, honestly. But there's nothing I can do. Sorry, Terry. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The statuette. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Terry, please. I'm going to die.
Terry, my boy. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, man. Terry, can I let you out? Bro, this is not supposed to be a sad episode, bro. Why I feel like I'm about to cry? Who are you? Terry! Terry! Terry, stop! Terry! Move! Terry! No! I just want to say, I love Terry with all my heart. <laughs> They taking everybody from me, bro. They taking them. They taking. They took me away from Carl. They took me away from Carl. Hank hates me. Everybody hates me, bro. Terry said I don't want to look at you anymore, and he killed himself, bro. Oh my God, it's you. Look at, look at you. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Did you say something? Ignore him. Never seen Android like you before. Mother. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on. Ignore him. I gave you an order. I'm sorry. But I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh! I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. It's positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. Come on, bro. We'll make a great team. Give me a second chance, Hank. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, that hit him. That hit him. Oh, not, nah, bro. What's up? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Thank you, Hank. You got a dog? You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? I'm just trying to make conversation, Hank. Sumo. I call him Sumo. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. That's his name, Captain Fowler? I thought that said Flower. Um... You like you like heavy metal? Knights of the Black Death. I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Yeah, man. Well, I don't really listen Rock on, to bro. Uh, you like basketball, huh? Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored fifty-three percent of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? Bro, look at Carter chopping it up with Hank, bro. Look at this bond and this friendship. Even though. Connor, when I was heartbroken, even though Connor was heartbroken and Hank was not messing with him, Connor said, "Let's put that to the side. 
Let's start fresh. Let's start anew. Me and you, Hank, we can have an incredible bond. An unbreakable bond. An unbreakable bond, matter of fact. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Just start working, bro. Just start working, bro. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Bro, is that a joke to Terry, bro? Don't don't disrespect Terry like that. Hank, you still my boy though, low key. I, I I'll mess with you now again after you broke my heart. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Is one. Is it? Bro, everything was going so well. Everything just went down the drain, bro. Just start working. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? Bro, just stop talking to him and work, bro. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? This is Marcus! Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The latter witness statement attests that an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Oh my. That was not attempted murder, that was self defense! Bro, that's crooked, bro. <gasps> Carla! The victim's body was found by a friend who came by to say hello. He immediately called the emergency service at 842 who recorded death by a gunshot wound. The murder weapon may have belonged to the victim, his android. An AX-400 was not found on the scene and is the main suspect. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That's Kara. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Bro. Oh. <laughs> Are you trying so hard to ignore me, bro? Understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Maybe they're trying to new I'm determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Yo, Connor, you about to get beat, bro. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are going to get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Fix yourself, fix yourself, bro. Bro, this episode was juicy. I'm not gonna lie. This is this was like an anime, bro. It was like the climax was like, even though there was no real real action or anything, but like the dialogue was just crazy, bro. I got Mr. Flower, Captain Flower over here. You would think with with a, with a name like Flower, he would be sweet. This dude is a, a total cat, bro. I beat his ass though. I beat his ass. And then we got Hank. We, we started getting along with Hank, and then Hank just, he, you saw what he did. He pressed us. Hank really pressed us, bro. And now we got a lead on Kara. We're coming after Kara now? Oh my god, this next episode is about to be heat. For real. But look, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can know every time that I upload a new video. <laughs> And share with your friends. You never know who's going to enjoy my content. That's the five. So look. This is getting real juicy. 
Whoa, bro. This is getting extremely juicy, bro. Rest in peace to my boy Terry. I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.